Hello, and welcome back to Medicinal Herbs Discovered. Today, we will be discussing garlic. The herbal name for garlic is Allium sativum. First, let's take a look at the garlic plant. Garlic has long, narrow blades, similar to grass. Garlic's flowers bloom at the end of a stalk. It forms small bulbils or cloves of garlic at the end of the stalk. The root of the garlic plant forms a large bulb, consisting of numerous cloves grouped together and enclosed in a white skin. So, what part of the plant is medicinal? The bulb or root of the garlic plant. Garlic has one main constituent which is the antioxidant, allicin. We will discuss this antioxidant in depth as we discuss the uses of garlic later in this video. Now, let's look at the actions and energetics of garlic. Garlic is a pungent, stimulating, diaphoretic herb. In Ayurvedic medicine, garlic increases pitta, Garlic's most well-known use is as an antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal herb. Garlic's antibacterial nature is due to its constituent, allicin. Allicin has the ability to kill both gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. This makes garlic a powerful antibacterial agent. Garlic's antiviral properties are due to its ability to decrease viral replication and increase the body's natural killer cells. These cells kill virus-infected cells to help the body protect against further infection. Garlic's main constituent, allicin, is also used as a broad-spectrum antifungal. Allicin accomplishes this by breaking down the fungal cell walls. This use of garlic can be very helpful to those suffering with bacterial infections and wounds, those affected by viral cold and flu, or women suffering from yeast infections. Garlic is also well known to decrease inflammation in the body. It does this by using its constituent allicin to inhibit the COX-2 inflammation cycle. This decreases prostaglandins that control pain and inflammation. Allicin also decreases nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a pro-inflammatory mediator, which causes vascular dilation and bursting of cells. Garlic also decreases brain tissue inflammation and may decrease amyloid production by suppressing acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter. These types of inflammation are associated with the development of the beginning stages of Alzheimer's disease. This anti-inflammatory property of garlic is very helpful for those suffering from osteoarthritis. Garlic's mechanism is very similar to COX-2 inhibitors such as the commercial drug celecoxib. It is also very helpful for those suffering from primary stages of Alzheimer's since studies have shown that Alzheimer's disease is due to excess inflammation in the brain. A third recommended use for garlic is to decrease blood pressure and cholesterol. Garlic does this by decreasing angiotensin production. This is similar in nature to ACE inhibitors such as the commercially available lisinopril. The ACE inhibition increases vasodilation in the blood vessels and decreases platelet aggregation. When decreasing the blood pressure, it decreases both the systolic and diastolic reading. It will also decrease lipid production in the liver and thereby decrease cholesterol. This is helpful for those suffering from cardiovascular disease or those who are prone to increasing blood pressure and high cholesterol. So where does garlic grow? Garlic grows in cooler climates 
and grow zones 4 through 9. Garlic is usually planted in the fall, before the ground freezes. It is harvested the next year, in late spring or early summer. Garlic does need to overwinter in order to bloom and produce a bulb. It is time to harvest garlic when the leaves brown and start to fall over. If the hard neck variety of garlic is planted, one must remove the garlic scapes or flower stalks that grow in the spring. This helps to produce a larger garlic bulb for harvest. So how do we preserve garlic? After garlic is pulled during harvest, we must cure the garlic before storage. To do this, garlic must be placed in a well-ventilated area, out of direct sun. This will dry the outer skin of the garlic bulb into the papery consistency we see at the grocery store. Once cured, garlic can be stored in a cool dark area to help prevent sprouting. Garlic has very few side effects. However, if taken on an empty stomach, garlic can cause GI upset and flatulence. There are no medical contraindications for garlic. Garlic does conflict with some commercial medications. One such interaction would be with commercial blood thinners. Since garlic can also thin the blood, there is an increased risk of bleeding. This is especially important for people prior to surgery, as blood clotting after surgery can be problematic. Garlic can also interact with antiretrovirals, such as those used to treat HIV and AIDS. This is because garlic increases liver enzymes and can therefore decrease the concentration of antiretrovirals in the system. This can cause them to become sub-therapeutic or ineffective. There are many ways for garlic to be prepared. We can make a syrup with the juice from the garlic bulb along with water. This is done in a one-to-one -one ratio of garlic juice to water. This mixture can be added to sugar to create a garlic syrup. Another popular preparation would be garlic ointment, where garlic is infused in oil to form an ointment for topical use. Another very popular preparation for garlic is as a component of the Four Thieves Herbal Remedy. This remedy was originally created during the plague of the 1700s. It was used to help prevent contamination from those infected. To garner the full benefits of medicinal garlic, patients can consume four grams of raw garlic two to three times per day. So, who is garlic for? Adults? Yes. Kids? Yes. During pregnancy? Yes. During breastfeeding and lactation? Yes. Remember, always ask your doctor before starting any new medication or supplement. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to Medicinal Herbs Discovered. We post new top 5 videos every week as well as a new herb of the week every Friday afternoon. You may also enjoy these other playlists, which include other herbs of the week and other top five videos organized by health condition or ailment. Thanks and happy watching.